Okay, so just real quickly, my thoughts about the young women being galvanized by Bernie. I mean, it's not like some mystical formula or anything. Young women, like young men, we, we are a generation that has been shut out by um, the financial crisis in 2008. We were coming of age at a time where interest rates on student loans, the student loan debt burden, credit card burden, I mean, so many things are just huge huge and imposing upon us and stifling opportunity and possibility um you know we were we were allowed to dream as kids of the you know 80s and 90s and then we're having our dreams stomped on by industry and society at, at a large and having to regroup and rethink things but still people are very active and involved i think i think having you know opportunity shut on us has forced us to be more active and involved in many ways um there we get messages on women for bernie about women who uh with the recent you know comments by debbie washington schultz about young women not being as um i think she called us complacent you know i remember as a child going to NARAL functions with my godmother who was a proud member of NARAL, and she did other reproductive justice work when i was growing up so many of us had examples coming out of the 90s of that hard work and those hard fought battles of the women before us. And we take that very seriously. So when it's time to, to now put not just our vote behind someone, but our time, our volunteer energy, we're looking for, for a candidate that embodies the things that we value because we do not want to be judged because we are women. We don't want the job because we, we want to be the best, hands down. We want to be recognized and not seen as just the woman doing this job. And, and, and so we have developed values in a system of beliefs that go beyond what people often compartmentalize us in these little boxes as all oh, those girls over there. No, we, we care about so much more. We are environmentalists. We are reproductive justice activists. We are teachers. We work with special needs and, and, and at risk youth. We are nurses. We are doctors. You know, we are CNAs. We are child care workers. We run the gamut. You know, we are stay at home moms. We are single moms. You know, we are single moms who work and go raise kids and go to school. We, you know, we see, we see very well the, 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 the impact of the need. When we see the need for a campaign finance reform, we understand how these different, you know, political mechanisms affect our individual daily lives. And the effect is real and it's felt. And so we need a candidate that not only, you know, I mean, has says the right thing and 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 promises, but who has a, a history and can inspire and motivate. Oh, there there are some of us, you know, in 2008 were pro Obama for the same reason of being inspired, being inspired for something better coming out of the Bush years and now here we are presented with Bernie Sanders, it's it's a no-brainer. I mean, his economic justice, his economic rights platform, his racial justice as a, as a young black mother, his racial justice focus. And the fact that not only does he know how to say the names and he overcome the, the Black Lives Matter hurdle, but he understands the value of human life and what that matters for all of us. You know, he, he has done the work to look at the lack of opportunity in some areas and, and, and the fact that it is, a, it is a travesty that as the greatest country on earth, we have such huge disparities based on not only wealth, but racial and ethnic origin, as well as gender. Gender. So when you have all those layers, you know, exacerbated, I do not have a certain level of privilege. I do not have a certain status. So I do not have the luxury of just voting based on my gender because voting based, there is no trickle down. Feminism isn't a trickle down thing either because someone who has a certain amount of wealth, opportunity, and access gets something. That doesn't mean it's going to improve anything in my own personal life. Because when you look at other candidates, they make decisions that benefit a certain echelon in our society. Bernie Sanders is the person that is working for the everyday average American, and we're majority women. So. Um, when we're talking about why are young women galvanized, inspired by Bernie Sanders, it's the same reason why young men are galvanized, inspired by Bernie Sanders. Young people are inspired by Bernie Sanders because he is speaking to the issues 
that are affecting everyday average Americans. He's speaking to, you know, those of us who are, who are, who are beneath, saddled beneath, you know, mountains of student loan debt. Um, you know, we, we understand for the, our younger siblings and cousins and neighbors and children coming behind us, we want something better. We want the promise of a better tomorrow. And it's not just some fancy filled idealistic dream. There is real concrete information. As a young women, as people planning families, we want the opportunity for, for paid family leave, universal health care. We do not have to want to be saddled by debt from, from exorbitant health care costs. You know, do you know what it is to have a baby? What it, what it costs to have a child in America? Not just raising the child, but to give birth to that child, to get the treatment you need for that baby while you were pregnant, while you're in the hospital. It is so far extreme. It is huge, it's a huge cost. To be able to take leave from work. You know, there are some comments about FMLA and how FMLA is just fine from other candidates. Well, you know, I personally work for the federal government. I'm an attorney for the federal government. I were to have a child today um, I would have to take use all my sick leave and annual leave for the year so I'd have to pull together all my leave if I would still want to get my paycheck during that time my leave so that means I would not be able to use my leave for doctor's appointments if I was sick if my other children were sick I wouldn't be able to use leave for any of that stuff I'd have to save all my leave and use it for put it towards maternity and then whatever I needed over that would be unpaid leave now I would be able to take a reduced amount of pay, you know, over a certain amount of period of time now so that I could still get a check during that time I'd be I'd be off. But that's an overall reduction. That's no different than just being, you know, without pay, period. And and in the plan, you know, put forth by Senate Democrats that that, that Senator Bernie Sanders has supported, has endorsed, you know, that would add an extra dollar, what is it, dollar thirty or so a week. To the to, to 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 our costs, so that if in the event that some and it's not just for pregnancy, you know, FMLA can be used in the care of a sick family member. Like there are all types of things that happen today. That if you are not like relatively financially, you know, wealthy, or I guess not wealthy, but at least you know, pretty well to do. When one person is talking about middle class is two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year which is well above any estimate from the Pew Research Center or anywhere else, we, 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 we have a disconnect. And a lot of us see that disconnect. There are things that, I, you know, the idea of women, you know, in charge and running things, that's great. That's warm and fuzzy and wonderful. But if that, if that woman, that proposed person, does not support the ideas and values of a generation, no, we're not going to support them. We're going to support the person regardless of gender, regardless of race, that supports the ideas, the values. You know, we're concerned about families being deported back to dangerous situations in other countries. We're concerned about a variety of things and that needs to be understood. And we need to stop, you know, acting like, oh, it's so mysterious. Why do people like Bernie? People like Bernie, people support Bernie, people are willing to take time off from their jobs, people are willing to volunteer and go all in for Bernie because we believe, because we believe that we deserve better. This is America and we just want a fair chance, a fair shot at having, you know, a good life and better opportunity for ourselves and for our children. So young women are gravitating to Bernie because Bernie is representing America not just a select few. Sweet lovers will marry our fortunes together. I've got some real estate here in my bag. Counting the cars on the New Jersey turnpike, they've all come to look for